Well, as you guys can see, it's uh, it's raining pretty good out here. Thunder, lightning, the whole nine. And we have to start working on this thing. So I, you know, loosely assembled the entire front subframe for the blue car, utilizing um, upper and lower control arms off of the green car. The steering linkage is all off of the green car. The steering box came off of our parts car. And and anyway, we've, we've got the, the whole subframe here ready to go. Uh, we're gonna be putting the drum brakes that came off of the green car on this subframe. But the one thing that we need to do this weekend, that's gonna be the project this weekend, is getting this thing taken back apart. Like I said, everything's just loosely assembled. We're gonna get this thing broken back down and we're gonna get this subframe and the control arms and stuff, we're gonna get all that uh, sandblasted so that hopefully this weekend we can get this thing painted. Because this is kinda the only thing that's holding up turning the blue car back into a roller and getting it off the body cart. So I'm gonna set you guys up and we're gonna start taking this thing apart. In the rain. More thunder and lightning. All right, subframe's all loaded up. Now, uh, I just gotta get some of the stuff off the control arms, upper and lower control arms. I don't need the inner and outer tie, inner and outer tie rod ends. I just need the uh, the drag link off of this, so I gotta get that unbolted, and we're gonna pull the drum brake, the the whole spindle right off the uh, lower control arm. So, we're gonna do some of that real quick, and then uh, we'll be good to go. Pretty sandblast some of this stuff, so. All right, we're out here commandeering my dad's garage, which has way more space and cooler stuff than mine. And uh, this looks like it would make a great work station. Get those apart. He has an air chisel, I don't, and that's the best way to knock all the stuff apart. So let me see if I can figure out how to make this motorcycle lift go up. And maybe find a towel to put down because it's nice and I don't want to scratch it. Okay, so I need to get these upper control arm bushings out. And I don't have anything that is specifically for this. You can't really get them out. I tried with the air hammer. It doesn't really do nothing other than attempt to start boogering up everything. So what I do have, however, is a, you know, a ball joint tool with all the attachments and everything. But the, uh, the problem with this Harbor Freight ball joint tool is that this cup down here is solid. You can't grab this anyway. So, what I think I'm gonna do is just notch this wide enough to slide over the shaft here. Then it should be able to grab this, hopefully, and press it off. So let me let me cut that up. It worked.
boy's a genius. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Why does everything got to give me a hard time? Okay. One down. This will should slide over way easier. And it does. Get out of there. Sweet. You don't have to buy the tool. You can make anything. All right, guys, it's about 1030 at night. We got to be up real early to get in and get this thing sandblasted tomorrow morning. The garage is a mess. But uh, we got the truck all loaded up. Everything is out. Now you can't see anything. There you go. All the bushings and ball joints are out. We've got the subframe, the upper and lower control arms, the drag link, the coil springs, and the steering box in here. So we're going to get all this stuff sandblasted so that hopefully we can get it painted tomorrow or Sunday. All right, that's going to be it for tonight, guys. Going to leave this mess for tomorrow and... Uh, We'll see you in the morning. What the heck? That's a goose in my backyard. Why do I have a goose in my backyard? Huh. Well, that's a first. Anyway, just got home. Kabam. Subframes all sandblasted. And uh, it's hot. Like really hot. This morning it was humid and foggy and really nasty out. Now it's just muggy and hot. We're going to get this stuff unloaded. Probably going to convert the carport into a paint booth today. And hopefully get this stuff painted up. of you yeah i was gonna just get myself one oh. you got lucky she got me a iced coffee anyway so we got the subframe all cleaned in the grease i hit it with some solvent cleaner from all the spots i manhandled while uh setting it up by myself but uh this thing is ready to spray in normal fashion uh i don't have enough paint to do all the control arms and the springs and stuff. So I'm hoping to just get a first coat on the subframe and then I'm gonna have to run to the auto parts store and get some paint. But uh, I'm gonna be using the exact same paint that I used on the green car when I did the subframe on that, but I didn't have the subframe sandblasted and easily accessible and that, you know, a really nice working height or anything like that. I, I did that car on jack stands, totally assembled, except for the control arms were off of it. But, you know, on my back in the garage, you've seen the video. If you haven't, go back and watch the video. But, uh, you know, I didn't have this ideal condition. But uh, just like the green car, I'm gonna be using VHT roll bar and chassis paint. This stuff, uh, 
you know, is heat rated, super durable, and uh, I really liked the way that it came out and looked on the green car. So I'm going to give the same treatment to this one. BHT, roll bar, and chassis paint. Bam. So uh, that's going to be the goal for today. Just to get everything painted while it's 100 degrees outside. And uh, it would be nice to get this thing sprayed while the carport here is still in the shade. Because as soon as the sun comes over this tree and starts cooking on this thing, uh, it's going to be like a million and five thousand degrees in here. So, uh, yeah, I don't need that kind of heat stroke in my life. So hopefully we can get this thing sprayed up pretty quick. And, uh, yeah. guys well we just finished flipping everything and spraying the bottom side of uh, all the stuff like the control arms and the springs and everything and let me tell you this stuff is drying and curing super fast because it's about 95 degrees outside right now but with the sun baking on that carport it's like 195 degrees inside there so uh, some of that stuff, even just in the couple minutes that I was in there spraying, is already curing. So that's good news. Hopefully later on tonight we can get that stuff out of there and uh, show you how it came out. So I think uh, we got some other stuff around the house to do today, but we're just going to let that paint dry and uh, maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Well, as you can see, the subframe is back together. We got this thing all painted and loosely assembled in the basement of my house. And uh, besides the coil springs and shocks, the steering box and a few other things, I mean, I just kind of mocked it up so that you guys can see what it looked like with all the painted goodies on it. I did buy a kit for less than 200 bucks that had all of the new bushings in it. Uh, the link for that will be in the description. It came with the Control arm bushings, ball joints, the steering components, except for the drag link. And uh, yeah, we're ready to put this thing under the blue car. So the next time you see this thing, we will be installing the subframe on the blue car. So make sure to click that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.